The Wolford E. Baker test facility is rather unique in our industry in that it brings together several multidisciplinary teams uh, to solve rather complex problems. It was built to allow us to do in-house research to learn better about how structures respond to blast and the jet fire test rig allows us to do research in jet fire or release cloud formation and other things that are not easily calculated or to validate some of our analytical programs that we develop in-house. It's the primary facility we use for commercial test projects, so whether that's windows and doors for commercial vendors or the Department of Defense or the Department of State, and we also host our Bakerist Learning Center at this facility, so industry professionals can come out and get a flavor for process safety events on a small scale. So today we're having the Technical Steering Committee from the Center for Chemical Process Safety out. But we'll be showing them a propane flash fire, a propane vapor cloud explosion, and then a propane jet fire and dispersion. The first one we'll do is a flash fire, which simulates a vapor cloud and ignition. Fire. But this flash fire doesn't have any congested volume, so there's no overpressure event escalated from this ignition. The second, we will do the same test, but have congested volume. It will result in a vapor cloud explosion. The third test we'll be doing is a jet fire test using propane as well, where we will be releasing propane and then immediately igniting it, resulting in a jet fire. There's really no substitute for seeing hazards in person. When an engineer is sitting at his or her desk, designing, analyzing, and figuring out solutions to mitigate hazards for clients, it really helps them to come out and see what the real impact of hazards are in person. The heat of a flash fire on your face, the thump of a blast wave from a vapor cloud explosion. When the participants tonight go down and they see the jet fire at night, they'll be reminded of the real nature of the hazards and what we're really trying to protect our clients against. The test demonstration was awesome. The, the heat, the uh, percussion wave, or the blast wave from the, from the second one was was really put you in the center of it. I really like the, uh, the pop you got from that. I felt that before, and this time it was in a test situation and not real. I would say the thing that sets this test facility apart from other test facilities would actually be the personnel. What you get here is professionals and engineers who are running these test apparatuses. And so when things go wrong or when client products don't work the way they intend, uh, you have professional engineers who can make recommendations for modifications, and that's the real value add for this facility. And I think it's a world-class test facility. I think the custom testing that we do, where we'll build anything for anyone, no matter what it is, and test it. I think it would be great if folks can come away from today with a better understanding of the hazards that are out there and the knowledge that folks are working every day to mitigate those hazards and make people's workplaces safer.